Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring a very rare crystal called Asinjite. Now it's this beautiful violet colour, here's your extreme close up there. It may look like a funny coloured rose quartz but in fact it's a very different crystal, both in its structure, its chemical composition, its, and its colour and its energy as well. It's primarily found in Greenland and as you know I love my Greenland crystals so in this video I wanted to share with you why this is such a sensational crystal and why it's worth the hunt. As a violet crystal, Asinjite encourages you to go and explore spirituality. It ignites your spiritual curiosity so that you have this desire to go out there and explore the meaning of life and make sure that you get the most out of this lifetime. It can really help you to connect with your angels and your guides. So sit quietly with your Asinjite and just allow these guides and these beings to connect with you and guide you along your path. Furthermore, it can allow you to connect with those that have passed over to the other side. Now, rhodochrosite is really good for helping you connect with bloodline family members. So you can always use that. But you can pair Asinjite with uh, rhodochrosite if you want to connect with a family member. Or if it's someone else who's not a blood relative, then just Asinjite by itself can be really nice. Again, holding it in your hand, closing your eyes and just relaxing, allowing that connection to happen. Maybe they'll come to you in dreams, in visions, in meditations. And this is great to do around this festival of Samhain, or Samhain, S-A-M-H-A-I-N-E. Also known as Halloween, which is on the 31st of October in the Northern Hemisphere and the opposite in the Southern Hemisphere. Now, as you're exploring your spirituality with Asingite, it doesn't want you to neglect science. In fact, it asks you and encourages you to look for commonalities between the two and seek to merge them so that you can have a greater understanding of how this world truly works without disregarding science, religion, or spirituality. Asinjite is the ideal crystal to keep you spiritually connected all of the time. It stops you from becoming what I call a Sunday spiritualist. You know sometimes people that go to church on Sunday and then they're nasty the other six days of the week. Or for people that are a bit more into crystals they might go to a beautiful meditation and they're all blissful and content and their chakras are balanced and then the next day they're yelling at their children or yelling at someone in the car park. What it helps you to do is it helps you bring down that information, keep it in the auric field and actually keep you nice and spiritual that whole time. To apply spirituality into our physical world because they're not different things, they need to be integrated one and the same and apply and be that total spiritual person all of the time. Because of this, it's a really great crystal to bring into your life when there's feuds. A lot of the time feuds are over petty little things that, you know, they're trivial, they're not that important. And so what happens... That's some geese, and I'm going to talk about them in just a minute. Um, what happens is this will actually help you to, you know, rise above those trivialities and those pettiness. And so, when there's a feud, start meditating with this and see how you can rise above it, apply your spiritual wisdom and knowledge, and heal that feud, that argument, or that discrepancy between you and another person. Asingayat helps to nurture and keep a balanced soul star chakra. Now what is the soul star chakra? We've got our crown chakra here and 15 centimeters above that is our soul star chakra. Now this is affected if we have too many chemicals or too many drugs. Now this can be from medications or the foods and different things like that. For, so the more toxin free and the more pure you can be in your living and your lifestyle, the more that this will awaken. Our self star chakra allows us to merge with the spiritual consciousness of all that is and bring all that inspiration and that guidance into our life. So what you can do by wearing it and bringing that energy into your energy system and your aura or meditating and keeping it 15 centimeters above your head. Obviously laying down is going to be the easiest way to do that instead of just holding it there. It will allow to awaken that energy center and allow that spiritual guidance to be there whenever you need it all the time because that's what us and guide helps you to do. Be spiritually guided every single moment of your day. Asinjite has a real Neptunian energy. It allows us to merge with that spiritual ocean of consciousness and really stay immersed in that. And because of that Neptunian energy, it's a really great supportive uh, crystal for Pisceans and that Piscean energy. It allows the Pisceans especially to keep that magic and that joy alive, not become despondent or depressed because of the harsher aspects of reality. It's really good for also helping us to connect with the zodiac angel of Pisces, which is Barchil. 
Barchio is really good for allowing the, us to see the magic and the beauty in everything, for keeping our imagination and our creativity alive. And Barchio encourages us to daydream, to fantasize, and to really go into the magic of life. Bacho is a great angel to call on to also help with our intuition because when we daydream we allow ourselves to conjure up different possibilities that are very different to what we may see in our reality and thus we can come up with solutions that may not be just in front of us. So close your eyes, hold your crystal and allow yourself to connect with Bacho whether you're a Piscean or not. We all need a little bit more magic in our life because without magic life's pretty dull isn't it? So when you start working with the Asan Jai, we want to bring in some other things to really help connect with that energy and enhance it. First of all, we're going to want to cleanse it. And being such a spiritual crystal, pop this one out in the full moon. That's going to be the best time to really bring that energy back. Now, gate crashing my video behind me, you can hear the noisy goose. And goose is a perfect animal totem to call upon when you're working with us and guide. What happens is goose, you know, many gooses, they travel over long distances. And so goose teaches you to follow your guidance system both within and around you, to be connected to that spirituality. How are they able to um, travel from south to north and do those kind of, diff travel over those long distances because they know. They have that innate knowingness and goose can help you to understand that as well. Also to remain calm because goose is one of the water birds, feels very comfortable on the water, to feel comfortable with your emotions and use that as a guiding system rather than actually ruling you. Now plant wise, pink lotus, such a spiritual blissful kind of you know magical flower and very much in tune with us in guide. So if you've got a pink lotus around you, just visualize that flower or sit before that flower and just observe the magic of life. If you can get, and it's worth looking for, some pink lotus essential oil, then putting three drops into your hands, rubbing that together, breathing in while you hold your awesome guide, allow that to intoxicate you, carry you to greater realms, and even call forth goose to see see you in a, I don't know, like a, in a meditation, in a sanctuary or something like that, and allow the three to dance together and guide you wherever you need to go. Astrologically, as I mentioned before, awesome guide is going to be really good to work with Neptune. And since Neptune doesn't have a day, we can use Monday, which is ruled by the moon, which is also a very magical time. So Asangite is great to work with on a Monday. Now, have you worked with Asangite? I'd love to hear about your experience with it. It's a rare one, but it's worth looking for. If you have worked with it, please share with our crystal community and leave a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrelow. Blessed be.